scandal gay sex tape of Iranian hijab enforcing official leaked. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> In a scandal that is stirring uproar across social media, Reza uh, Sekati, a senior official and known hijab enforcer in Iran's Ministry of Culture and Islamic Guidance in Gilan province, which is in the north, was abruptly ousted following a leak of a salacious sex tape involving him and an unidentified young man. Saikati, notorious for his rigorous implementation of Islamic dress codes, including the establishment of a hijab supermarket and a hijab-themed exhibition hall, was reportedly dismissed by order of Iran's culture ministry under President Ibrahim Raisi's rule. The, the specifics of the dismissal remain murky, with the culture minister Mohammad uh, Mahdi Ismaili vaguely citing, quote, Failure to adhere seriously to implementing the hijab law as grounds for the recent dismissal within the ministry. Amidst ongoing nationwide protests sparked by the police custody death of Masa Amini, the reemergence of Iran's morality police, this scandal has ignited a new wave of controversy and tension within the heart of the Islamic Republic. Okay. So this is a bit spicy because we talked about last week how the morality police, kind of in preparation for Muharram, has come back to the streets of Iran. And there was an incident that happened recently in the city of Rasht where there were three women that were going to be um, arrested and basically kidnapped by morality police and unmarked vans and citizens came and prevented their arrest and then there was a huge demonstration right in the heart of the city of Rasht, right which is in gilan province and this is happening at the same time as one of their main hijab enforcers gets caught doing the frisky with another young man on tape. Now, for those who don't know, homosexuality, especially doing a homosexual act, is punishable by death in the Islamic Republic. So to catch one of their main enforcers of that province, enforcers of religious rule, doing this kind of activity, it has caused a massive scandal. <laughs> and the hypocrisy of the regime, I mean, we all know it. We all know it. But it's just on display like never before once again. Because we know how civilians are treated by the authorities. You can get shot dead in the street for nothing. They will RAPE you in prison systematically, whether you're a child, a teenage boy, a man, or a woman. They will torture you. They will kill you with torture. They will execute you. They will suffocate you to death by hanging you slowly from a crane okay like they will fabricate charges against you they will violate their own actual laws to just push you through the system faster so that they can execute you faster to scare at people they will hang you in public okay like i mean i could just go on and on and on and on on and on and on but when this video came out you know what some of the other ministers said what other people in parliament said armin they said that it's actually against the sharia to expose someone on a video like this mm -hmm. they even said it's worse they said that the video being exposing this guy is worse than the action they're excusing the guy they're like if this was other people this guy would be screwed but when it's their own people they're like, instead of, they're going after the people who leaked the video. They're like, that is worse. Yeah. D excuse me. Ex all, all the former Muslims in the chat, did you know that exposing a video like this is apparently actually worse than homosexuality itself? By the way, usually I agree. Okay? Usually, I, I mean, I agree, but not with this guy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Wait, like, what do you let, mean? let's you just agree be clear. With what? I agree that it, because it was consensual, 
It was completely consensual. They were having they were having a good time, and we don't condemn that except the fact that they're hypocrites. Yeah. They, we, like the, the the only reason why we are you know, this so if this was any uh, a person that was just having consensual sex with another it was, it was the guy the other dude was adult the other guy was consenting they both had, were having fun so it seems like yeah why obviously if this was any other situation the person who leaked the video did something immoral but the problem is that these are the same people who um destroy other people for living for doing something like this for much these are less. the same people for much less you know these are the same people who are pushing an islamic lifestyle by law and punish people who don't abide by it so in this case yeah screw these people like you know your hypocrisy is being exposed we're celebrating the fact that this got leaked i just want to i just want to make it clear that this is a special case that we're celebrating that we don't Obviously, a, a consensual sexual relationship between two um, adult males is nothing to be ashamed of, unless oh, yeah, we don't give a you're... fuck about that. Like, <laughs> yeah, but I, I know, I know we don't. But some people who might be new here might might think that we are. I just want to be clear with somebody that might be new here, right? Because it, what I'm happy about is that a lot of people um, have keep clarifying that. You know, the people who are against Islamic Republic, they're like, let's just be clear, we're not anti-LGBT. So I'm oh, so glad awesome. to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because even LGBT hasn't been yet normalized in Iran as much as we like. But mm -hmm. the fact that I'm seeing a lot of people within the opposition are very sensitive about constantly, like when they expose this guy and they're sharing the video around and like attacking this guy, I'm enjoying the fact that they're all coming, like a lot of them are coming out like, hey guys, let's be clear here, we're not anti-LGBT. So I enjoy I enjoy them clarifying that everywhere they're posting this, right? So that's good, that's a good thing. <laughs> Look at this growth. You love to yeah, see this it. Is this. Look at this I growth. love to see that. Yeah, yeah, that's very good. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Armin, yeah. like, okay, so you, you know, are our local Farsi speaker. So, like, tell us, like, the fallout that's been happening. Oh, like, my God. The this response, has... like, just just give me the juice, okay? Give me the behind-the-scenes yeah. juice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, Kian is asking, is this publicly known in Iran? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> This this has been a major okay. So this this happened at the worst time possible, okay? Because it's coming at the anniversary of uh, Mahsa's um, murder, right? Uh, the anniversary of the Mahsa's revolution starting. Um, it's it's um, it's coming at the time that the government is trying to reint reintroduce enforcing hijab laws, right? And now like. People are reminded about the, the hypocrisy of the people who are enforcing the hijab laws, um, and and the worst of all, it's happening. It happened right at the beginning of Muharram, <laughs> which is the holiest, which is the time in the Islamic calendar where people try to uh, virtue their Islamic credentials, and everybody is trying to outcompete being Islamic. Um, you know, the people who are with the government, they're trying to like brag about how muslim they are and how you know and this and right at the beginning of muharram this this is this was the start of muharram this is not that was not a good look for the government it, it just basically reminded everybody <laughs> this was not a good look this is not a good look yeah it's just reminding it's just such a at the at, at the time that the government has the lowest amount of support ever and it keeps getting lower and lower. It, the speed of the government support falling is increasing. So it's 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 not just the speed; it's acceleration. But right when it's the government is tr trying to get any form of legitimacy, trying to get back any of the legis all the legitimacy that is lost, right at the middle of all of this, people, everybody is being reminded of how hypocritical these people are, and what they are pushing on other people is not something that they abide by themselves.
this is a this is a constant this is a very con um, famous narrative like this is something that everybody talks about like these people are hypocrites and they don't even they themselves even uh, don't abide by the rules that they push on people and this has been something that people Except believe the difference in for a while. is when they get caught yeah. in not following those rules they get leeway they get, they get off easy but yeah. those of us who don't want to follow it our lives are put at stake we have to flee yes. our families face untold trauma through the sheer level yeah. of devious abuse that these hardliners enforce upon us. But they and their children live a completely different lifestyle and they have the luxury to get away with zero, little to no consequences. It's Thank such, you. it's cruelty. It's such cruelty. Yeah. But well, like, yeah. Are there any good memes coming out of this? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. There's a little on Instagram, but I don't know if I can show them. Have you seen the video? I haven't seen the video. No, I haven't. I haven't been able to find it. So the person who leaked the video, he says, "I have so much more." <laughs> that's a, yeah. The thing that's yeah, juicy is that this video was apparently taken in one of the ministry's guest houses. So this video was right. done like on government property of the Islamic Republic. And so do you think that they have a hidden camera of more stuff that officials are doing in these kinds of right. guest houses? I don't know. But the person who leaked this video says that if you don't like take action against this person or something, I don't know what his demands are. I'm going to leak more video. And he says in one of the videos I have, they, they rub off the, the cum with a holy thing like with something sacred islamically sacred so he says like i have and you know i have that video right because now you know because you know that happened so he says like if you don't want that to be released like given to my demand so i don't know if he's bluffing or not okay but that's what he's claiming he has more videos like that <laughs> <So>. <laughs> So there's an old, oh so he oh I I've listened to the I haven't watched the video but I've listened to the audio between the conversation between the older guy and the the young boy the younger man that he's like using um, oh I think the younger guy is a, I think the younger guy is a Basiji right oh <gasps> um, no <laughs> yeah so they having chit chat about politics and stuff before their sex right and the young boy tells the guy that you've gotten fat. Right? Like, why are you getting so fat? And the the guy, the main <laughs> guy, he says, like, oh, it's, my work is so stressful and it's so demanding. And people hate that. People who listen to that, they're like, yeah, like, his job is to enforce Islamic laws and morality upon people. And he's like, oh, my job has been so demanding while he's doing this un-Islamic thing. <laughs> That's crazy. Right. Oh my God! Yeah, <laughs> the is 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 the young boy complains like, why are you getting so fat? <laughs> like, I, I don't, I don't want to see this. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> no, but they, they're joke, but they're joking about it. So, I don't know. if it was, if it was, if <laughs> Bubba, if you're being fat. <laughs> <laughs> if this wasn't. If this, if these people were not hypocrites, it was a wholesome moment. Like they're mm -hmm. chit, they're talking, they're chit chatting, they're having fun, they're joking around, and you're like, you know what? You guys are such hypocrites. That this was a, this was a completely pure and wholesome relationship. If it, if you weren't being so mean to other people, oh, I forgot to mention. So, yeah, the guy says that wasn't when, a paramilitary guy that goes out and terrorizes people. Yeah. So. Here's the thing: the in the other video, the the younger boy, the younger man, rubs the come off with the holy, the sacred thing, and the older guy like says, like, "Do you know what you just wiped off this with?" Like he's like shocked, like, "Do you know what you just did?" <laughs> so they <thought. laughs> wait. This is in the audio. Did you hear this audio? No, no. The, so the the audio that I heard is about like you're getting fat part, but the uh -huh. audio this is in the video that the other the person that leaked this video claims it's in the other video okay. that hasn't been leaked okay. yet. Yeah. So I don't. So the part the part that says like you're getting fat 
and he says like my job is too demanding i've heard that that part is out that part has been leaked mm -hmm. but the second part he is the one that he's warning about leaky yeah <laughs> holy yo, <laughs> this is saying holy king you know shit. i knew this story was wild but you came with so much more wild story. <laughs> i didn't know this guy was a cg i didn't know <laughs> oh, my God. Yo. oh people want to see the video <laughs> yo, <laughs> seriously hey, but here's the thing i do love in the gay world like a good bear otter combination like i'm imagining this besiege guy is a little bit more of an otter like this is all gay terminology for people don't know and if he's fat yeah. if 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 this reza guy is fat then he would be the bear a little hairy yeah like this this is yeah. cute yeah imagine imagine an older <laughs> chubby man with a younger besiege boy yeah so that's the that's what's happening here this is anyway wild. This is wild. <laughs> this is wild. Armin, when you were growing up in, for those who don't know, if you're a man in Iran, you have to do compulsory service. So a lot of people get conscripted to different wings of oh, the yeah. military, and a lot of people get conscripted to the IRGC, right? Or right. to be a besiege. Like tech, technically, my ex boyfriend was at one point like a besiege hospital helper guy because <laughs> he had to be he, he was forced to be anyways um so when when men go through these services are there gay activities that happen in these services oh yeah for sure so much tell me time. everything i don't want it i don't want it. <laughs> tell me everything tell i've been me. i've been told things that i don't even want to talk about okay because but i, I um yeah I, I will tell you off camera because I don't think I think we we're gonna get flagged. <laughs> I tell you, like after I will tell you what somebody told us this on the Persian show. He was like, we were talking. We had a show on the Persian Atheist Republic Persian channel about introducing people to kink and stuff, right? Because a lot of people don't understand, you know, this world in Iran. And I was like, how did the show introducing them to them about like consent and like you know, um, safe words. And I was just had a show about that. And there was this guy that showed up and he was like, I'm so glad you guys are telling me, telling all this. I had so much shame because of the things that I did during my military service. And then he started describing what he did during his military service. I'm like, okay, you don't need to share. There's too much. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I can't, I, I have, I, it's, it was so I, I will tell you off camera what that happened because he was like, he was like, we had such a good time. It was amazing. It was the best experience of my life. And I had so much shame. And this show is making me not be ashamed of it. I was like, okay, that's good. You can enjoy it. You don't have to tell other people that. Okay. There's a, just because I'm telling you not to, not to have shame. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that other people want to hear it. Okay. I don't, yeah. don't want to hear this. You, if you enjoy it, you could enjoy that. But I don't have to like it. If I'm disgusted by it, that doesn't mean that you should be ashamed by it. I was, I'm, <laughs> so, I don't know. It was weird. I will tell you off camera what he told me. It was so bad. I mean, I don't Yo. even want to. <laughs> Yo. I mean, I bad. Mean, I mean, bad. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. If you're having that reaction, I know it's got to be wild. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. By the way, I didn't go to military service because I got this card. No reason. What is this card? So this, this card. Wait, hold on. This card shows, tells says that I did my military service. Why is it not showing? Um, here, let me hold this. This card, look, look. It says, does it show? So this is my. This card is my Basiji card. Let me show you my picture. This is my picture. Hold on. <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh, my <God. laughs> oh my god yeah so it says oh my god how old are you like 18 in that photo i don't know I, I don't know how old i was but so it basically says that i did my military service but you didn't your parents paid off someone to do it for you right yeah, this card, this card claims that I have done my military service for two years and I did not. <laughs> I did not go there for one day. <laughs> yeah. 
So basically, you pay you pay somebody to that pay somebody that tells that you get a card that says that yeah you did your military service. That's how I managed to leave the country. <laughs> I know, but I know a lot of people that got out of their well, not a lot of people. I know one guy who got out of doing his military service because of like scholarship. Basically, is that possible? Um. Yes, that is possible. That is possible. Yeah, I think my dad got that. And then I know other people that just had to do it. Mm. So isn't that kind of weird that like, I mean, it's not weird because it's normal within the country, but I'm like, oh yeah, technically my friend was a besiege. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, it's not a besiege. That that if you did your military service, that doesn't make you a besiege. No, but That's sometimes true. you get put to different wings, yeah. right? And yeah, so like yes, yes. the person that I'm thinking about. He well, he didn't. He wasn't out on the street patrolling or anything. He was doing like hospital work, but technically he was a besiege at that time. Right. Yeah. How would you define okay, what a should... besiege is for those who don't know? Just by the way, morality, po mo plain clothed morality police. Mm -hmm. That would be the yeah. Anyways, we should get to the next news, yes. and I'm going to put myself down so you could talk about this, and I'll be right back. Okay. Wait, so, wait can we, we, have, uh, we have some super chats first. Oh, we have super chats. Oh yeah, we do. Oh, New we have gave so a super chat saying Islam is flowing in Christianity. Wow, just wow. I'm not sure I understand what this. Well, I think it means following. You think it's following? Oh, okay. By the way, no, I don't think this. This is, this is not a Christianity exclusive thing. Yeah, but okay. Yeah, and um, and uh, Crassy Flung gave a super chat. Thank you, saying love your show, guys. Keep up the good work. FYI, for your information, everyone is a little bit gay, even if they don't want to admit it. I know I am by pride. Yeah, that's right, Cassie. Crassy, tell them bisexual pride. We're here. I'm about it. Is that true? Is everybody a little bit gay? Based on some studies most people have some level of same-sex attraction it's just like how much do you embrace it not mm. everyone has enough to actually make them want to have sex with the same sex but some people have some degree of attraction i think armin is the only person he's the straightest man i've ever met <laughs> like he's the one man where i'm like there is zero percent of him that is gay it's actually crazy it's like so not gay that, i mean i don't want to share personal okay, details but, but it's wild okay not, that, <laughs> okay not that there's anything like we're not no, saying no, no, we're no. not suggesting I, I know but i just want people to don't don't think that we're saying that this is this something that we're trying to say that being not being gay is a good thing okay okay i mean if i had any if I was gay, I would be proud of telling people that I'm gay. Okay, so there's there's that. Okay, I just don't want people to come this with a sense of like we're shaming people who have some gay. Like this is no, not. No, no, a, no, no. I'm just making fun yeah. of you. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. You're <laughs> so straight. It's like painfully straight. <laughs> um, I love Adam Rickster saying, "I'll I will give it to you straight. I'm not." Uh, <laughs> um. And Numan is saying, everyone like this video. Yes, D is reminding everyone to please like this video. We're just here to have fun. We're here to enjoy our time together as a community and hang out. I love hanging out with you guys. So give a like and subscribe if you haven't already. We're on the road to 40K, okay? We're trying to get to 40K all together. So if you're here and you haven't subscribed, just hit that subscribe button. We do this every week. Um, and... Oh, Mustafa is talking about Amy Ron. Don't you have to get forced sex change if you're gay? You don't have to, but some people do. It's yeah, it yeah. Do you want to explain what that is? So because if so, in Iran, it's legal for you to do to get a sex change up. It's not legal for you to have um, sexual relationship with the up, with the same sex, but it is legal for you to get a sex sex change operation. So some people who are not trans but are gay go get sex change operation, not because so it's it's very horrible. Like imagine that, like you're not trans but you're gay, but to be with the sex that you prefer, you you go through sex exchange operation so so that it makes it legal to be with your preferred sex. So imagine how horrible it is for somebody to change their gender 
even though they don't have gender dysphoria, just so that they could be with the people. That's that would be the way for them to be able to be with the people who they want to be. Yeah, it's so yeah. extreme. It's so extreme. And people are like forced to do that. Um uh and I we got a super chat from Sid Dave, but I don't actually like this comment. He's saying I'm not, I'm assuming it's a he. I'm not homophobic as I like lesbian and bi women. So you're homophobic. Because oh. that this statement excludes gay men. So you're saying well, you I like people, I like I like them as long as they're women. Mm. What's wrong with being a gay man? There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing. Mm. Okay, he, he th there's nothing wrong with it, but also you don't have to like gay sex to not to not be homophobic just to be clear as well you know what i mean like if you are discussing okay, he's joking like he's, hey. he's joking okay 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 but i do want to make that clear so pay attention to what i'm saying Susie. i want to see if what you agree with that a lot of people think that to not be homophobic they have to be not disgusted by gay sex but that's not true you are allowed to be disgusted by gay sex that would not make you homophobic well, there's a lot homophobic of homophobic if you don't like the people yeah, if you don't like the people, yes, but you, but it's fine if you don't, if you're disgusted by the sex, that's fine. There are a lot of gay people that might be that might be disgusted by straight sex. That's completely fine. That's allowed. That that's being disgusted by the sex does not make you homophobic. Okay. Um. So, also we got a. She kind of is saying, so as a bi woman, would you date any bi man, Susanna? I would love to date a bi man. <laughs> I would love to date a bi man. I love dating other bisexuals. I don't know how to explain it. It's just I feel understood. Because mm -hmm. usually I'm dating like gay women or straight men. But other bisexuals, like I just feel understood. I don't feel like I have to explain myself. And also like monosexuals, so to speak meaning you're only attracted to one sex, like can be very, very insecure about bisexuals. They can be extremely mm. insecure when really it's not like that. You, It's not like that. I'm dating you because I'm interested in you, right? But mm. people can act wildly insecure about it. So dating other bisexuals is nice because we're. I just feel understood. And yeah. Mm. So that's nice. That makes sense, actually. We gotta get another super chat. Shouts out to my bi kings, my bisexual kings. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh, we got two more super chats. Um, Gaijin American said, "Is it better to be trans in Iran than Florida?" Oh, this is Florida. Yeah. It's better to be anything in Florida. <laughs> so, okay. It's better to be anything in Florida. It's called the Bill of Rights. Yeah. <laughs> unless you're a, I mean, unless you're a rich Shia man that is connected to the government somehow. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah. What? Um, when oh, and there's that? other bisexuals being like, hey, Susanna, I understand exactly what you're talking about. Thank you. Thank mm. you. <laughs> um, Alex Schmidt is saying, rumor is in Turkey that you can get out of military service if you're gay, but only if you can prove you're a bottom, not a top. I have heard this rumor as well, and I've heard this rumor that you get out of this by submitting video evidence of yourself this... as a gay bottom. No. And here's the thing. So no. if this is true, this means that the military has accrued possibly thousands of hours of gay content. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is this, a, just the first a trick. I've this. I think this I've I've heard this before. Is it true though? Because people say a whole bunch of crazy stuff. I mean they they do say a lot of crazy stuff. They do yeah, so we don't know if this is true, guys. This is true. But if it is true, I'm assuming this is just a trick to get just get content out of people. If somebody mm -hmm. up there was like, can I get people to just force people to send me their videos? Yeah. Okay. Oh, and now they that too. we're getting more super chats, but they're like very off topic and we do need to cover finish the show. So 
Um, no, no, read them though fast. Okay. You, well, this you, is just turning into Q&A. So David, thank you for the super chat saying, what do you think about the nuclear family? Is that something you even support? Is decline in marriage and family in the West a good thing? This is a huge topic. Wait, I can oh, answer it fast. You should encourage super chats instead of telling them that it's... we need to. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, pe pe people are sending us super chats. How could they? We need to move on. <laughs> Guys, we appreciate your super chats. It's what's keeping is what's keeping this show alive. So please keep them coming. I can answer. I'm just them getting fast. distracted. <laughs> what do you think about the nuclear family? Is it uh, something you even support? Uh, is it is the decline of marriage and family in the West a good thing? Um, okay, so so what, I'm, I'm just going to give a quick response. Just as in we went from the extended family to the nuclear family, it's not something that people, um, it, was, it could be manipulated and controlled by any people. This is not something that some, certain people will come analyze and advocate and then people listen. Okay. This when economic when economic situations and the work uh, the relationship people have with their work and moving from villages to cities change, it was they were forced into it. This is like a wave that has hap happened going from extended to nuclear family that nobody could micromanage. It will just happen. Whether you judge it as bad as good thing is how people adapt to new conditions. And if we ev evolve from the nuclear family to something else, some people suggest that the next phase is the, the chosen family. Um, mm -hmm. Again, this is not something that you could decide. It will just happen because it the current um, societal conditions necessi necessitate to happen. It will become necessary for it to happen. So it's out of our value judgment. It will, it will just, it's just us as a society adapting to new conditions. Um, that's that. I'm laughing at people's reactions to the super chats. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Give us money, but in silence. <laughs> 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 okay, guys, I'm sorry. It's just like sometimes it's a lot to run the show. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I already answered that. Okay, last super chat. Um, you want to read this one? Yeah. Um, I, I thank you for the 10 euro super chat, J Jordan. Can you tell me what the statistics say about the Iranian protesters? How many are only against the government? How many don't like Islam? And how many don't like certain tenets of Islam? So this is a huge question that we could devote an entire um, show to. The problem is, is that for these last three questions that you asked, well, more like the last two, those are not questions that have been posed via study right so i have seen statistics about how many are against the government my memory is telling me that um basically 75 percent of iranian civilians that were polled in this huge survey were supported some form of overthrow of the government so some wanted a hard overthrow some wanted a soft overthrow but at least like 75 percent were supported the protests and supported some form of overthrowing the government um they these pollsters didn't ask how many don't like islam how many don't like certain tenets of islam they have separate studies that ask these questions right and in, in those studies they have found that iran is actually a muslim minority country there are basically as many people that are non-religious in iran as there are people that are muslims in iran um, well, here's here's a faster answer. Here's a website that we get this data from. Okay, it's called gamon.org. So G A M A A N dot O R G. Okay, and you can see the uh, reports here. Okay, so if you click on uh, like the people's attitudes towards the like you have the religious views. This one is the religion one, right? Religious views, political views. But if you want to talk about the protest, if you click on this. And then you go to this link over here, find here the full report, and then it will take you here. And you will see these, all of this graphs and everything for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's where you get this information. All right, cool. Um, and then let's go to 
Another, another super, super chat, chat by David the Goliath. Yeah. Thanks again. Saying, what do you think about demographic decline in the West and Japan, etc.? Is Susanna okay with a West where whites are a minority? I th I'm assuming you think that I would have a problem with this because I'm white, which is like weird. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I just want people to have prosperity and be happier. And I want to live in a country that maintains and reflects my values so for me as long as the population of the country are defenders of these values that i find very important which is pretty easily summarized in my my country's bill of rights then i don't care what color people are I don't care what culture they have as long as we share some pretty solid values and free expression and protection of free expression being the most preeminent and the most important. Demographic decline in the West, quote unquote, versus Japan is very different. They're very different. One is way more open to immigration than the other. Like... I don't know. I don't understand. Yeah. It's, for me, it's about well, values. I don't care about ethnicity. I actually do care about this. I do care about um, because more diversity means that you're doing something right. Okay. So exactly. I, don't, I don't agree. Yeah. So I don't agree that the diversity itself necessarily is doing much. I mean, it does mm -hmm. do some things, but I do think it's a sign of doing something good. Like if, it, the, throughout history, societies who have advanced the most have attracted people from around the world so much that they became more diverse societies. So this is a good thing. This is if you see, you you should be. You, this is something you should be proud of. Like if, if, if this is other, like in New York, seeing different kinds of people, that, that means that there's something better about New York than other cities. You know what I mean? Like the more like it's, and it's not just New York. Like if you go back in history, Rome was, was more diverse than other cities because Nor Rome was a superpower. If you went to Baghdad during the golden age of Arabs and Persians, you could see that it was more diverse than other people because Baghdad was becoming a major powerhouse. So this is a good, this is something you should be celebrating. I think multiracial, multi-ethnic multi societies are objectively superior to ones that are not. How about that? Mm, yes, I it's agree. It's actually superior to have a multi-ethnic society. Yeah. When I go to countries exactly. and cities that aren't multiracial, it's, it's so weird to me. <laughs> it's so weird to me. <laughs> That's why I loved living in Vienna so much. Vienna was like, I mean, partially because the United Nations literally was there and I would go past the United Nations every single day on my commute. But it was like the whole world was living there. It was amazing. So much mm -hmm. enrichment to my life. Mm 